Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Cool Ninja Guy here. Today, I will be showing you guys how to do the uh, turbulent displace transition that I did in my Savior uh, Central Contest submission. I've done this in other edits before. It's a smooth transition. If you don't know which one it is, it was the one between the second clip and the BMX one. It's where the clips kind of morph together, and the tur this little adjustment layer is all like warpy, see, like that. So what I'll do is I'll just delete this uh, layer, and I'll show you what I did. So um, first what you want to do, actually I'm just going to let this load. I'm going to make a new, I'm going to do that. Save it. I'll make a new composition, name this Turbulent Displace Tut. Turbulent Displace Tut. There we go. So now I'm just going to drag in my two clips. So let me just take in a random one. Like let's say, we can do the... 17 one. I'm pretty sure, the, yep, that's the flip. Let me just say it's all done, and I'm just gonna have it twixered slowly, just because I can. Like, like right here. Say, like, once he's bouncing, I'm just gonna add a little bit of twixer, just because I can. So, many, like, I'm gonna put this at twixer, just like 25%. Twixer, bro. I throw it on. Just fix two things, fix the frame, or three things actually, fix the frame rate, uh, go to enhance, and that just makes it a little smoother, set this at 25%, it probably get a bit warpy, I really don't care honestly, so let me just go one frame back where you can't see it, keyframe this at 100, then go one frame forward, 25, and it goes all slow, epic, woo, it's all cool, it's like right here, say when it slows up I'm gonna keyframe this down let's just say I like to have the speed down a little bit so I'm gonna go down go ahead 30 frames half a second put this down to 10 percent it's even slower and then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put shift one because that's where my um, uh, transition will start and I want this to last let's say a second and a half so 90 frames in my case since I'm running 60 frames so then I'm gonna hold control shift and hit the or uh, command shift on a Mac and hit the right arrow nine times so one two three four five six seven eight nine that is uh, 90 frames and shift two and that'll be the end of my transition so now what I'm gonna do now is go to that one marker opacity at 100 percent then uh, go to two and turns down to zero and then alt right bracket to uh, snap your uh, composition so that it's done there because you won't see it anymore. So then drag in your second clip. Uh, let's just take 360 foot jam, I guess. No, uh, let's do the GoPro 9. That's a backflip. GoPro 9. And on that two marker, actually go to that one marker and snap it. That's where it's starting. So I'm just going to find a good spot. Because I want them to say like right at the two markers where I want them to actually flip. So let me just find the spot. It's actually flipping. Let's say right. There's fine. So actually I'm just gonna drag out some Twixter again. Just to make it look a little better. 59.94 frames. Uh, conscious edge enhance, inverse of smart one. And I'm gonna set this to 25% once again. Actually, I'm gonna go like right here. And keyframe this at 100. Keyframe the one frame forward. Then set this to 25. 25. And I'm going to snap this so you can't see it. So I got a one marker, snap it on there. Then at the two marker, he'll be in the middle of his back flip. That's fine. And so now what we want to do now is take the opacity of this one. I'm turn the audio off. Opacity at 100. Keyframe that. Go all the way to the one marker. Turn this down to zero. So now, if I would uh, just play this through, it would just be one simple opacity fade, which is you know a nice transition in itself. But I want to add that turbulent displace to make it a little better. So now you're gonna uh, make a new adjustment layer. So right click new adjustment layer, and I'm gonna go in my solids and rename this. So I already have one named turbulent displace, but I'll name it turbulent displace tut tut. Here we go, and <clears throat> I want to trim this to my um, markers. So at the one marker, I'm gonna hit Alt left bracket, go to the two marker, Alt right bracket. So now it's this 90 frame little adjustment layer that I have to work with. Now what I want to do is type in turbulent displace into your effects and presets. Turbulent. There's turbulent noise, there's turbulent displace, but we want turbulent displace. So drag that on there, <clears throat> it gets warpy right away. 
but uh, we want to change, we want to get the beginning keyframes. So go to the one marker, change the amount to zero. And keyframe that. And then go to the two marker, keyframe that at zero. So just make another point. And we're going to go in the middle at 45 seconds. So control shift, hit left four times. One, two, three, four. And then control shift five times. So no, just control and arrow. One, two, three, four, five. So now we're halfway through. And set this to a amount like 100 or 50 or whatever you want. I'm going to set it to 100. Nice and warpy. Actually, let's go 75. 75 looks nice. <clears throat> and that's a good transition on itself. It's just there, and then we do it morphs. But what I like to do with this is I'll uh, keyframe the uh, uh, evolution. But you don't just keyframe it, say zero to like whatever. Uh, what you can do is take the evolution, alt click it, and type time, and then shift eight times three. I think it did time times 30, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, time times time, you know, multiplied by 30. So then what that does is the evolution changes. So uh, you'll get that um, it like. You know, it warps, and it's a different warp, which I like. So I'm just going to pre-render this out, or no, excuse me, ram preview this out for you really quick. See how it looks. Um, this is a nice effect. It's pretty simple, and I think it looks really, really nice. Um, you know, it's a basic one, but it looks really, really smooth when you're doing this. IRL or Call of Duty. Um, <clears throat> I think it looks really cool. I've done it in multiple edits. So uh, let's preview this out right now and see how it looks. Oh, what it did, you saw it looked pretty, um, pretty, like, linear. It went from there and then straight back. Pull up these keyframes, hit U, select them all, right-click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And now I'm going to go back to these, uh, hit the graph editor. And now I can play with that if I want, but I think it looks fine. So let me, uh, ramp preview this again. And it should look more natural. There it is. Yeah, there you go. So uh, <clears throat> that is the whole tutorial. Um, what you could do if you wanted to is keyframe the size instead of the amount. But I think the amount looks better. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button below, subscribe button up top. Helps me out a ton. And um, hope you guys can try this out and use it effectively in your edits. So uh, thank you guys for watching. My name is Cool Ninja Guy, and I'm out. Adios.